What's going on YouTube? My name is NC Squared and welcome to something uh, something else that I'm doing on the channel. Um, if you saw my other video, I did a top 5 uh, things I don't want to see in Pokemon Sun and Moon. But now it is time. Uh, we are bringing you 5 things that I want to see in Pokemon Sun and Moon. If you are hyped, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for me today. But also remember these are my personal thoughts and opinions. Um, if you have your own personal thoughts and opinions, please leave them below in the comment section. Uh, sorry, section below. Um, I would like to see what you guys want to see and I would also like to respond and like just like interact with you guys any way possible shape or form So please leave a like comment down below and subscribe for me today if you're not already subscribed new watching this new um, And yeah, so let's get right on to it uh, here's number one All right number one I want to see I want to see more cinematic scenes now by that I don't mean like Oh hey, blah 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 blah, this and that, like just like seeing a legend and like battle area. No, I want to see like just like in the beginning of like the um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, where um, like you're go, you're like the, you're the pro the professor's introducing you, and uh, we just see like the whole like on the uh, like just looking on the right, we see like a Larian, and we see a whole bunch of other Pokemon just interacting with each other, and like we see like. Some other Pokemon interacting with each other as well, um, but like that that opening scene was like, oh my goodness, we have the capabilities of doing whatever we want, so do it. I just hit my hand on my table that hurt. Um, next, um, in the beginning of Route 102 or like going approaching Route 2 into Pelleberg City, um, we see that we have butterf butterf uh, butterflies, sorry, butterflies flying into like Pelleberg City, and I'm like, whoa, that's super dope. Like, why don't we have like more of those scenes? Like. I'm just hoping that in X, like not from going into Sun and Moon, that we are able to see more of these cinematic scenes. Also, one that um, uh, is also that was pretty old, but I, I just recently saw this is that in Pokemon White and Pokemon Black, when you're stepping up to the uh, to the legend of Zekrom and Reshiram, when N is trying to capture them, you, we see that we just see the cinematic scene where we're just walking up and we see Reshiram moving around and we see N trying to interact with them. And like in cinematic we can't really do anything that's another scene I want to be able to see and but like now that we have like more capabilities of doing like 3d why don't we see more of those like that's one of something I want to see personally I don't know about you guys but I would love to see more of those and we also have a great amount of potential for them um, but on to number two number two um so I don't know this is uh this is kind of like iffy because um, he was already introduced, but um, the topic of this one is I want a badass boss. And by that, I mean we've seen the introduction to Team Skull in the, the latest update. Um, so far, they look pretty dope. They look like they're they're badass and everything. They just look like how how um, Guzma stands like in the background of his Aridos. He just squats down, and you're like, oh shoot, this guy means business. This guy knows what he's doing. And like I believe the quote that he said, like um, I, I'm not sure what he said. It'll probably be in this, like in the picture that I'm showing. Um, it says something about like um, I could have never become a captain, but like he's a captain now, so like he means business. And uh, Plumeria looks like she she's a badass, um, just how she's designed to look like that. But I mean, of course, we don't know how they're gonna act. We haven't seen any more gameplay other than the ones that are already shown. But um, but in the past. I mean, we didn't really have a badass boss. We only had like one or two, um, and, and if anything, the others were like, like old and stuck up. You know what I mean? Like we had like from Generation One, we had Team Rocket, we had Giovanni. Giovanni was like a like a stand up, straight up kind of guy where you he he was a boss. Like he he was a very organized boss. He went he was like a crime lord, uh, and almost and like you you meet him sometimes and then interaction stuff like that. He doesn't really do anything to you. You just battle him. We had Team Rocket was in Generation 2 as well. We didn't really see Team Rocket as a bunch of thugs. We just saw him a bunch of thugs, not like gangsters or whatever. Um, we just, the same thing. We we, uh, we encounter them a few times and we interact with them and nothing really bad happens. Uh, Generation 3, we see Team Aqua and Team Magma. Team Aqua and Team Magma with Leader Archie for Team Aqua and uh, Maxi for Magma. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Maxi for um, Magma. That's A's and A's. Um, we, uh, we see that Maxi's very stuck up. He wants everything in order, of course. Um, Archie's kind of insane in the membrane. Um, he's not really something you want to be, like, talking to. Like, he's just 
I want water to cover the earth. Like, bro, like, we need some land to stand on. We can't all surf. Um, not everyone has HMO3. Um, but in all reality, they're, they're, they're kind of stuck up. Nothing really, like, too bad. Um, and then moving on to Generation 4, we have Cyrus. They're all, like, and, and as we progress, they're all getting kind of older. Um, Cyrus is, like, kind of in his, looks like to be in his mid-30s. Um, looks like he's just, just straight, like, I'm going crazy at this point. I'm having a midlife crisis. I need something big. Let's distort the world. Giratina, come. Um, but in all reality, it's just like, he wasn't, he was just like, we're like, battling crime lords at this point. Not like gangsters or whatever. Um, and so far, like, I mean, looking at the screenshots, they look like gangsters and Skull, Team Skull. But, um, just how they're like, they're like, moving and everything. Um, but, um, yeah, working on with, uh, Team, uh, Team Galactic, uh, Cyrus is the leader, he seems to be in his mid-30s, of course, um, and isn't, he's just really insane, like, we, we're just seeing these people that are insane and, like, want to, like, conform you rather than just, like, beat you up and leave you in the dust, um, and then we move on to Team Plasma with, um, and Pokemon Black and White, and Pokemon Black and White 1, uh, we see N as the leader, um, He's just this like mysterious character that you don't really see as a enemy, but like he is technically an enemy. Um, he's an antagonist, but you later realize that he was, um, I guess, conformed into the bad society from how he was raised by Gideus. Um, Gideus uh, is also in Black and White 2 along with Corliss or Colrus. Col Colrus, um, they're the Black and White 2 main antagonist. They're the one taking over the world again. Um, trying to distort with the Kirum and phase it, and uh, not phase it, but like fusion it with po with uh, Zekrom and or, or Reshiram, whichever game you have. And then we have Team Flare, where Lysander is just crazy. Again, we're just dealing with a whole bunch of crazy older people. Uh, this is just craziness going up in the the stakes here. Like Team Flare, um, they're they're literally taking the Tree of Life, that's Xerneas, or hell or death that's um Iveltal. like that's life and death they're making a giant huge beam to destroy the world like come on like let's get it together lysander but so far i uh, so far the badass boss guzma does look pretty cool so we should be seeing more of them soon hopefully we do and let's move on to number three uh number three is i want to see something new like side quests and events side quests and events um, what I mean by that is there's a picture of, um, Mallory, I believe her name's Mallory, the, the grass, like, look, like, the first, like, um, tri uh, trial, uh, cap uh, trial leader we saw, yeah, trial leader, we saw in Sun and Moon trailer, um, uh, we saw that she was like, oh, hey, if you go get me these ingredients, I'll give you something, like, I want those kind of side quests where if I go, if I go do, like, this certain things, I am able to get this item like if I want to get the Eviolite I have to like um, go find a um, let's say a dragon scale if I want the dragon scale I have to go and find this Pokemon catch it like there's like a 5% chance that Seedra holds a dragon scale and if it if I if I catch a Seedra that holds a dragon scale I can give this item to this girl and this girl will give me the item that I want or we can do it for Pokemon I mean, which we already have. We have like in-game trades. We're like, oh, hey, I want, uh, I want a Spearow. I'll give you this Farfetch, like we did in Gen One and Gen Three with Leaf Green, Fire Red, and Red and Blue. Um, that's pretty cool and everything. But like, I want to take it a step further, where like, oh, hey, I need, um, a, f I need, I need to see this Pokemon, and you will get access to this Pokemon in the game. Like that'd be pretty cool. But that could also be kind of a, a broken mechanic as well. Um, uh, and then another thing, like, um. Like, uh, like, and I think the second person, I forget her name. I don't know, I feel like Lily is her name because, like, Lily pads or whatever. Um, but it's like, oh, hey, this Pokemon is causing a disturbance. Uh, she's saying, like, there's a disturbance causing, being caused, and she wants you to go stop it. That's, like, that's another side quest I want to be able to do is that, like, oh, hey, there's stuff going on. I need your help. Like, I need those kind of side quests where we can either get money or get items or get, like, like a rare candy or something like those would be pretty cool to like give out rare candies instead of fighting him in the wild um and then number and then i will i mean like number three is still like 
pretty going on. I mean, that's pretty much wrap it up for number three. Uh, let's move on to number four. Uh, number four. All right. This is gonna be a quick, short one. I want Pokemon to walk with me. Like, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. One of the one of the great greatest games you can ever have because through all throughout Generation Four, you can have Pokemon walking behind you. Like their sprites are hella dope. But just give it to us. Like, come on, make a game where Pokemon follows us. That's not hard. But I mean, that's about it. That's all I went for this one. I mean, it, it's never gonna happen. It might not ever happen again. But it was nice while we had it. On to number five. Number five, um, I don't know why I just clapped there, like, that was weird. Um, I want to be able to challenge other region gym leaders, like, just like in Gen 4 where we had the gym leader challenge at Hardcore and Soul Silver, um, I want to be able to challenge all six other generations into, um, our, uh, in, into, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, like, like a, like a gym place? Not like a gym place, but, like, all over the region. Um, well first they would have all past seven gym leaders all in one either like scattered around the world in Sun and moon because the technically the region is Hawaii and it's kind of like a tropical island So gym leaders are kind of like encouraged to come over here and like spend some time here on vacation And stuff like that So that'd be pretty cool to see him over here and like encounter them on like misty on a beach or Brock in a cave or um just like Faulkner, just like working on like uh, just somewhere like in the, in the skies, you just encounter him. Um, not like flying, like unless you're like using the Eon flu and he's like in the sky. You guys have like a sky battle that'd be pretty dope. Not gonna lie. Um, or like even I'm gonna go through each one. I'm gonna go through each generation. You see like you see Roxanne in the trainer school. You can battle her. Um, you can see what's that? Gen five? We're, we're we're on Gen three. Gen four. Um, Let's see, let's see. We see camera. We see. No, I need another gym leader. Um, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, we see uh, um, that Fantasia girl. The, the, not Fantasia, but like Fantina, uh, the the ghost type girl. We see her just like hanging out in some scary looking place. That'd be pretty cool to see that. Um, or even like, even like in a, like a like a theater. If there's a theater in this game, we can see her um, just playing and like dancing around and like being the girl she is. Um, and then let's go to generation 5 generation 5 We see um, the ninja guy. I forgot his name the ninja guy He's like an ice type gym leader. We see him like an icy place where we can find like a Lolan stuff like that That'd be pretty cool to have um, And then we also see generation 6 chick we see generation 6 where um, We see who's a gym. Leader? Oh, we see uh, uh, The guy that climbs rocks not stop rock um uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't remember his name. He's like rock climbing. We see him like in the mountains. We see him rock climbing. And we're like, hey man, let's battle. And he'd be like, oh shoot, yeah, let's battle. And he has like a whole bunch of different stuff like that. That's just like just some of the everything and stuff like that. And then like also not being able to battle the gen um, uh, the gym leaders from since from generation four and generation five, um, they would have updated moves. So like the OP knockoff would be a thing. And then like they'd actually be like competitive. Like they'd be like a good level to have. And they'd have like, I guess, I mean, they'd have all rock types, but like you can just carry a water type team. But like, they'd also have Pokemon to counter that. Like that, I mean, that'd be pretty cool. I wouldn't know how to do that. And like, yeah, like you, you'd be you able to see like an updated sprite for Brock and like, like Misty and Faulkner and like all the other gym, like Price from Generation 2 and like all the other Pokemon gym leaders from each generation, like be able to see updated sprites from them. That'd be pretty cool. Um, IMO. Like that's what I want to see. I want to see like, I want to see them, or even like, even like, I'm just gonna say rivals. Like that'd be pretty cool to see like the past rivals from each generation make their appearance in this, uh, this, uh, this game, and see their updated sprites and everything. And then, also like, hey, why don't we have like a Lolan forms for the Pokemon? Like we can have like Price, um, get an Alolan um, Nine Tails or like, uh. Blair? Blair? I think Claire? Blair or Claire? I forgot her name. The, the second, the eighth gym leader in Generation 2. She has Dragon types. Well, we have an Executor that's Dragon type now. A Lolan Executor, so we can have that on her team. That'd be pretty cool to have. Um, and yeah, I mean, oh wait, what's another? Uh, Sanshu. I mean, the guy from uh, uh, the fifth gen, the icy guy. Uh, he'd be able to have like a uh, like a like an Alolan Sanshu or something like that. Um, and like just like updated like Pokemon like seventh gen Pokemon as well. Obviously they still have the generation Pokemon they had from the from the original games, but they also have 
some more generation like set like seven Pokemon that'd be pretty cool to have um yeah I mean that wraps it up for number five so let's get on to the outro uh thank you guys for watching uh appreciate the you guys listening to this video about my opinions and my opinions only um there's no like uh, again this is everything it's my opinion if you guys have an opinion of your own please make sure to leave it in the like comment down below and then that like comment down below um make sure to leave it in the comment section down below for me because it's like i it just means that you guys watch the video uh that means you guys want to interact with me that means you guys want to voice your own opinion that's that's what i want to see that's what i want to see out of you guys um yeah if we can smash like 15 more likes i'll have another video you guys out for next week no problem i will make sure of it um yeah just just leave a like comment down below and subscribe and if you guys want to check out more content obviously subscribe but if you i'm not gonna like pester you guys I, I mean i've said it like 15 times but like i'm not gonna pester you less hey make sure you see like just like if you want to hit the like button see more content go ahead hit it um but uh i want to thank you guys for watching uh have a great day day and i'll see you in the next one peace